Hello and welcome to another From the Workshop Nerd Note. I am your host nerd, Brandon Hart, and we are here this time to talk about a oft confused topic. Um, and that is the idea of chipset versus module versus modem or end device. Um, we're going to kind of cover this from a couple different angles, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it from the viewpoint of if you are an engineer or if you are a company who is attempting to build an Internet of Things device and you want it to be cellular connected, what do each of these levels mean to you? Um, so first off, the first level is a chipset. Chipset is generally, uh, you know, it's the, just a small little, little chip that goes directly on the board. These things are done if you're producing millions of products um, and you have a very large engineering budget and so on. So uh, most of the people watching these videos probably not in the chipset camp. Module level, however, takes a chipset and integrate it, integrates it into a uh, small uh, surface mount part, adds componentry to it, adds software to it, um, creates more, a, more of a complete uh, cellular radio. And then an engineer can come along, take this, use a little less engineering, um, requires a little less RF engineering, but still a fairly substantial amount. And anything that you use at this level will require that you take your end device, your tank monitoring solution, your pipeline monitoring solution, whatever it may be, and you go back through the carrier certification process and, and take the time that, to do all of that. It can take 18, you know, 12 to 18 months a lot of times to get through the full and complete testing process and approval process and resubmission process, uh, tens of thousands of dollars in a lot of cases as well. Um, and then we have the final level here, the end device level or the modem level. This is where our Skywire modem sits, for example. The Skywire modem allows you a much, much quicker time to market because you're not doing end device certification. You're not doing that testing and lab time and all that kind of thing. Um, it also allows you to reduce the amount of RF expertise and, and you don't have to become a cellular expert to make a tank monitoring solution. You can focus on making a great tank monitoring solution and, and sort of offload the cellular expertise and RF engineering to the people who just focus on that, aka Nimblelink. So uh, we can help you kind of get to market quicker, less um, non-recurring engineering going into it. Um, less uh, expense for testing and all that kind of stuff. And um, of course there is a balance. So there's a balance to all these levels. The chipsets are gonna be the absolute cheapest bill of materials. The module is gonna sit in between the modem and the chipset in terms of the cost for the bill of materials here. And the modem will have the highest individual part cost, but can save you a lot in terms of the engineering, the testing, and so on not to mention the time to market. So there's gonna be a little bit of a balancing act. Um, we do have more information about this whole range of products, what certification looks like at each level, uh, what the implications of using these things at each level are. Uh, we'll put the links to those videos down in the description for the normal longer format from the workshop episodes so that we can dive into those a little bit deeper. But until then, this was just a quick overview of the chipset versus module versus modem ongoing confusion. <laughs> and, uh, hopefully you found it helpful. But this has been a From the Workshop Nerd Note. I am your host, Brandon Hart. Please do like, subscribe, and let us know what we can do in future episodes. And until then, have fun building.